Howdy folks. Today's video was suggested by loyal viewer Dashiell Ward, Hi, Dashiell. who contacted me on Instagram. You know, you could go ahead and uh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, you could, you know, see some of the behind the scenes, what's going on. It's a good place to contact me if uh, you've got any extra questions, stuff like that. Yeah, 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 do it. Follow, follow on Instagram. Now Dashiell was on his way to get a pineapple uh, to make some summer drinks, because it's summer, and Turns out the store did not have a pineapple, so he had to resort to a canned pineapple juice. Now, his question to me on Instagram was, how much worse is the canned pineapple really? You know, is juicing the pineapple really worth the hassle? And maybe if you're making a complicated drink, say like a jungle bird, uh, is it really gonna make a big difference if it's, you know, not a huge element in the drink? So today we're doing a pineapple battle, canned versus fresh, let's go. So it's gonna be some pseudoscience today. I got some Dole canned pineapple juice. This is the pineapple juice that they use at the bar I work at um, for the occasional times they need pineapple juice. I thought that would be a good thing to use as it's pretty much everywhere. And I juiced half of a pineapple. It was the half of pineapple I had left over from another project, which you'll hear about next week. We're gonna make a couple cocktails, uh, compare the fresh to the canned, see what we think. So what drinks are we gonna make? Well, the first drink I thought I would do is called the Mary Pickford. This is actually something I've made on the channel uh, quite a while ago, but it is just rum, pineapple juice, a grenadine, and maraschino. It's got sort of a high percentage of pineapple juice, so it's sort of, you know, pineapple forward. I thought that would be a good way to see how the pineapple juice does. And I'll leave a link to that other Mary Pickford video. It's pretty good. It's an oldie, but a goodie. But then also, Dashiell also specifically asked about the Jungle Bird. Uh, that's a more complicated sort of tiki style drink with a lot of other stuff going on. And maybe if the pineapple isn't so high in the mix as it were, maybe it wouldn't make such a big difference. So there are two questions here. One, how terrible is the canned pineapple juice? And the second is, if it's in a more complicated drink being covered up by other flavors, will it really make a difference? Now, let me just say for the record that my default is that there's there's no rules. You can use whatever pineapple juice uh, suits you, one, uh, that you can afford, that's available to you. You know, don't let anyone tell you your jungle bird is wrong because you used canned pineapple, that's silly. On the other hand, I like to shoot for the highest quality I can. So uh, we're gonna do this test and see if the pineapple juicing is worth the hassle. So first up, we're gonna make the Mary Pickford. It's an old drink named after an old movie star. It consists of equal parts rum and pineapple juice with a little grenadine and a little maraschino just to sweeten it up. There are a few different versions of this drink that you'll find out on the internet, but this is the version I'm gonna use. Now, secondly is the Jungle Bird. Uh, I'll put that recipe right up here. Now, I don't happen to have Blackstrap rum on hand, but I'm gonna use this Worthy Park 109. It's got a very molasses-y feel to it. I think this will be a fine substitute. Uh, for now. Now the pineapple should have a little bit more of a supporting role in the Jungle Bird, but let's move on to the Mary Pickford. Shake those up. Let's go. We got our Mary Pickfords made. Uh, let's just try these out. I'm gonna start with the canned pineapple first. One thing I'd like to note right off the bat is that the foam on this canned one is very nice. And I can see already that the, uh, un, the, the, the fresh pineapple juice version is not nearly as foamy. All right, canned pineapple. This drink is very pineapple forward. I'm really not tasting uh, rum uh, almost at all. And it's got a, a sort of a harsh, uh, bitter aftertaste sort of in the back of my throat. It has that sort of metallic zing that I'm associating with the canned pineapple. So even though it does have a very nice foam, I'm not sure I'm loving this 100%. Let's try the other one. I'm putting a frond in these, I don't get them mixed up. As you can see, the foam on this one not nearly as nice. That is way better. It's fresh. It's sweeter. It's uh, it's got a it's got a fresh 
taste and not this sort of stale metallic taste of the other one. Okay, Th this is not a surprise to me. Um, in a drink where the pineapple is really one of the stars of the drink, it really makes a huge difference about the freshness of the pineapple. The fresh pineapple in this uh, is really good. Where and and I can taste the rum a little bit, whereas in the 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 canned version, you get just a very strong sort of artificial taste from the uh, pineapple juice. Let's move on to our jungle birds. <laughs> those mixed up as well and again I'm gonna start with the canned pineapple I mean a jungle bird is a, is a delight okay and even though the pineapple is less in the mix you still get a little bit of that mm -hmm. uh, sort of tinny flavor I'm gonna call it uh, so I don't know let's try the fresh one I mean you still get the sort of bitter this from the Campari, but the fresh is oh, just yeah. way better. So let me say this, in these Jungle Birds, the pineapple juice is sort of lower in the mix. You get, you know, less pineapple juice sort of in your face, but it's still there. There's still an ounce and a half of pineapple juice in this drink, so it is making a difference. And you, and the thing about the canned pineapple is it's got such a, it's such a zingy flavor, this sort of tinny, um, sort of, I don't know, high-pitched um, metallic flavor that it really kind of cuts through and it does kind of ruin the drink. All right, in conclusion, I'm gonna say the fresh pineapple is way better. Uh, the ones with the canned pineapple, I mean, they weren't terrible, but you could tell there was a, you know, a metallic kind of element going on. Um, the can does have the advantage of being much frothier, which is kind of cool if you're into if you want a nice foam on the top what some people have done that I've heard of is they would mix the fresh and the canned uh, to get a little bit more of that froth going on in their drink but if that's not important to you um, stick with the fresh I say all right hope that was fun and or informative uh, let me know down in the comments what you think do you like these kind of pseudoscience episodes it's fun for me to do but um, I'm hoping that you'll en you're enjoying it uh, go ahead and hit the like button if you are uh, and we'll see you next time